Okay, thanks, Scott. Um, a, a question about algorithms. Uh, eight session estimation with the eight eight session score being the success score, being the expected service target. Uh, so the feedback is not sure how this will hold with trajectories going out to 30 or 40 sessions. So what do, what do you say to people who, you know, they, they're, they're seeing these clients for a long period of time and, you know, and our, our service target is, is based on eight sessions and... Well, despite the size of the database that we do have, the truth is that after the first session, the numbers, uh, and remember, these aren't based on college students uh, uh, going in a randomized clinical trial. These are based on actually how people attend and use psychotherapy in a broad range of countries and with a broad range of uh, clientele. And for each session that continues, uh, that client continues, the number of people at each session begins to shrink, in part because, of course, naturalistically, some people get better and say goodbye. Other people do not get better and say goodbye. Uh, and in addition, there are a smaller and smaller number of people who need slightly longer work in order to achieve an effect. Uh, so right now, the tipping point is, as you say, at about the eighth session where we really have strong, uh, solid predictors of success. If you're seeing a client a little bit longer, that data should be entered into the system and you should compare it to the expected, uh, to the, uh, expected treatment response, that green line. Over time, we're gonna add that data, we'll reanalyze it and look at how predictive it actually is. Um, so it's not really any different than the, the prior shortcomings in the prior algorithms. Uh, it's just that we have much more robust predictive data, predictive data now uh, for those initial eight, eight visits.